Hello beautiful people, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Moyo Sola Oluwa Ayola and on this channel we talk about education, lifestyle, relationship and faith. So if you're interested in any of this content, do make sure to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos are out on the channel. Today I'll be talking about genotype compatibility in marriage as you can see from the title of this video. Um, genotype simply means the genetic constitution of an individual or um, an, of an individual organism, right? Each person has uh, a different genotype. Each person has a genotype. It's something that um, the blood comprises of or something. I'm not a medical student, but then I think I have um, some knowledge about um, genotype. And so I might not be giving you as much details as you think you would want in this video but then i think i need to talk about genotype compatibility in marriage because a lot of people are missing it they are falling in love yeah it's good to fall in love work in love anyway anyway anyhow shall I do something and fall in love and invite us when um it's time for wedding but before you invite us when it's time for wedding and you eventually get married and start calling us that see i need you to help me send money my child is in the hospital blah 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 this er we have been working in and out of the hospital before you start calling me for that that's why i'm here to warn you about your genotype before you go ahead and tell that bro a yes or before you go ahead and ask that sister to marry you and you go and buy the most expensive ring on social media that's why i'm here to warn you about that so as i said earlier that genotype simply means the genetic constitution of an individual organism so it means that each person has um, a different genotype and there are four major genotypes that we have um in human beings we have the aa we have the as we have the ac and the ss now i think for most people aa and as are the most popular kind of genotype that we know or um people have in this world or in the country at large yeah so but then okay i think a lot of people to know about ss that is a sickle cell carrier both ss and sc are sickle cell carrier so the major type of genotypes we have in humans are the aa the as the AC and the SS. So they refer to the hemoglobin um, gene constituents on the red blood cell. So as much as AA, AS and SS are very, very, um, there's something that they are genotypes that are popular. Yeah, they are popular in people. AC is very, very rare and they are quite abnormal as medical practitioners will call it and of course i'm not a medical practitioner but then i'm trying to share some knowledge about um genotype compatibility with you so i need to put that disclaimer out before someone will say hey, when will you become a medical doctor i'm not a medical doctor i'm an educator okay okay all right so i decided that um i'm saying i decided i decided i decided too much but then it's what it is <laughs> it is what it is so by by with uh, me saying i want to talk about genotype compatibility here today i'm saying that there are some people that carry some certain genotype that you are not meant to marry regardless of how he's doing you kiss kiss or how your body is doing you one kind or how that sister is fine or how that sister is on fire she's burning for god you feel oh i think i want to marry this sister this is star purpose is burning with a bright vision blah blah this that brother oh that brother once he's on the pulpit carries fire he's spitting fire in his eyes and yeah and you are drowning in the pool of love. Before you drown in the pool of love, can you please ask for their genotype? Ask that brother today, bro, what is your genotype? Sis, what is your genotype? If you are someone who has a genotype of AA, you are free. In fact, till you enter that, you, you might not need to ask that person what kind of genotype that you are carrying because you being an AA, you can marry anybody with any kind of genotype. AA, I think, are the purest form of um genotype they are not very pure like that but they are pure <laughs> they used to have comma once it started raining now it's in the they have their own comma too but then in terms of childbearing and all of that they are very excellent they are the most ex they are the excellent type of genotype that we have all right so the reason why we look at a genotype compatibility in marriage is because a lot of people get married and when the time comes for them to actually give birth to children they end up giving birth to sickle cell carriers and when they give birth to sickle cell carriers they end up birthing or giving birth to children that will experience pain 
and those children have to fight every single day of their life in order for them to live i don't know if you have actually experienced or you have met someone or you've seen someone or you know someone you've been in class with someone who is a sickle cell carrier then you would be you would imagine or you would have witnessed even though you cannot experience it but you would have witnessed how much pain they have to go through if not every month like they have to go through pain they have to there are some certain things they can't do if others are playing in the rain a, um, a, a sickle cell carrier cannot play in the rain because of their health they are restricted from doing a lot of activities and all of that you want you don't want to give it to a child that when that child comes to the world the child regrets why they are being why they are breathed because you made a mistake of not finding out the general type of your partner before you go ahead and drown in the pool of love so you don't want that for your child you don't want to give birth to a child whereby you have to the child goes in and out of the hospital or probably the child um has to battle fight every single moment of their life they have to fight to live when they are meant to be fighting for success or other things although we have quite a number of some people who are sickle cell carrier and they are doing very well in their respective field but regardless of that you don't want to give birth to a child you don't want to be um you don't want to be i'm looking for the right word now you don't want to be someone who give birth to a child and that child is going through a lot of pain you don't want to add to you don't want to be the main cause of someone's problem yeah so that's why you need to actually take note of um or ask questions based on genotype before you go ahead and drown in the pool of love or get married or be in a relationship with anyone so i'm going to put a genotype compatibility chart on the screen but regardless of that i'm going to be sharing with you some genotype compatibility that are actual genotype the genotype compatibility chart you might not follow exactly what is going to be on the screen uh, right because i'm just going to look for a picture and just drop it here on the screen for you guys to see just in case you missed what i'm saying so you can always pause and write it down so you can take note of that so if you are a genotype of aa and your partner or your spouse is a genotype of aa you are free to go ahead and get married because it is very very excellent aa plus aa excellent yeah okay um if you have a genotype of aa you can marry someone um who is as aa don't forget i said aa are excellent genotype they can marry anybody they can marry anybody anybody they can marry whether you are aa um the aa can marry aa aa can marry as aa can marry sc a can marry ac and a can marry ss and there will be no issues in childbearing or their child do not have any issues as the case may be a can marry a um as if a plus a give birth um get married sorry they're going to give birth to a a like let's say for four children a a a a a a a a their children are going to have a a genotype if a a should give um get married to as they're going to give birth to a a as a a and as in no particular order okay also if aa should marry ss they are going to give birth to as 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 which is quite fair which is quite fair because of course if a does not marry ss who will marry ss so a you have to marry you have to marry the ss so you are going to give birth to children with the genotype as 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 also a can marry ac you are going to have uh, give birth to children with the genotype aa a a a a and a c is that noted also a s plus a s should not get married if you have a genotype of a s you shouldn't get married to someone with a genotype of a s because if you give birth if you get married to if you are a s you have um, a genotype of a s and you get married to someone who is an a s or who has an a s genotype you are going to give birth to a a a s a s ss genotype children you don't want to give birth to an ss because you never can tell don't forget i said in no particular order so you never can tell if probably you'll be giving birth to ss first and you don't know probably if that woman will have to give birth through cs if that woman is giving birth through cs then I think there is going to be a limit to the amount of children she can give birth to so you don't want to keep trying and trying and trying and trying and you keep wasting or putting the life of your children in danger you don't want to do that all right so i think i'm going to put in order for me not to bore you with too much um 
talk on this video i'm going to put um the comp genotype compatibility charts on the screen i leave it for about five six minutes no no five six minutes is too much now i leave it for a couple of seconds or a minute just so you can pause and go through it please i want to beg you limit the number of ss that we are having in this country do us the favor of being intentional with your genotype as much as you love that person as much as you are so interested as much as that person's purpose align with yours as much as that person can give you wings to fly and they can help you to fly please find out their genotype if you know you do not have an a genotype please find it out before you drown in the pool of love i've had a couple of people who they were able doing boyfriend girlfriend even though it like in terms of christianity it's not advisable but they're doing boyfriend girlfriend they did do, do. <laughs> they did do, do they got pregnant and they ended up giving birth to an ss no an ss bowel they ended up giving birth to a child with ss genotype and they didn't have the plan to get married actually and the lady had to deal with the body alone she had to because of course who would bear most of the body is the woman now so she had to bear majority of the body you don't want that for your children you don't want to be the cause of their problem so please before you eat that shawarma before you go on that first date ask that bro ask that sis what is their genotype thank you so much for watching this video i'm so fast 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 glad that i hope um i've been able to educate you in one way or the other based on your genotype compatibility i do hope to see you in the next one if you have any questions inquiry or whatsoever drop them down in the comment section below and i'll be able to answer all your questions if you feel your question is quite personal i'm going to add uh, my gmail in the description box below dmayinnercircle at gmail.com t-h-e-m-a-y-i-n-n-e-r-c-i-r-c-l dmayinnercircle at gmail.com so you can send your message to that or you can reach out to me on instagram at Ayola, and i'm going to um reply all your questions thank you so much for watching this video i pray god bless you your home your marriages your relationship every single thing that has to do with you don't forget to remain in god and god bless you till i come your way again next time have fun bye